In this video, I'll be engaging once more in an act of creative masochism by cutting out this intricate jet engine with a Photoshop pencil. If you're new here, welcome. We're not your typical Photoshop channel. We specialize in photo manipulation, digital art, and advanced Photoshop techniques. If that sounds like your kind of thing, be sure to like and subscribe as we put out new videos Monday to Friday. It's free, easy, and really supports the channel. Let's roll the video, enjoy. So let's address the elephant in the room. Why the hell would anyone do this? For me, working with a pencil is a zen exercise. It's meditation, I find it calming, relaxing. I'd say it's a digital equivalent of hippies balancing rocks on the beach or something along those lines. Long story short, I enjoy it. So I get a ton of flack in the comments sections for doing these pencil challenges. For some reason, these videos really seem to fire up the neckbeards who tell me I'm an idiot, I'm wasting my life, I could have used Tool X to do it faster, yada yada yada, you know the drill. I actually find it quite funny and the comments get me fired up for producing the next episode. But I'm going to give you a heads up on how these exercises have built up my creative resilience. I know it sounds nuts, but there's a greater purpose to work like this and this skill set has served me very well in life and business. Art is stamina. You see, I'm from the school of thought that being different is better than being better. I carved out a niche and aesthetic style that is very pencil focused. The grit and stamina from doing stupid stuff like this has enabled me to create artworks that are quite unique and look a little bit different to everyone else. I managed to build a full time art career off the back of this. So while I'm not the best at fantasy lighting, environmental scenes or digital wave painting like my PM peers, I'm a mean mother when it comes to compositing. Ridiculous complexity is my forte. That's how I make my mark. That's how I stand out. That's how I get the commissions to roll in. I get it. I'm a weirdo. But sometimes being a weirdo pays off. I've written a book on my misadventures in the creative industry. So if you're considering a full time career in digital art, be sure to check that out. I've put a link in the description for you. So on to today's challenge, a jet engine. As soon as I saw this one on Adobe stock, I knew I had to cut this bad boy out. This was a walk in the park compared to episode two. The compositing took four hours and felt like a literal holiday in comparison to the roller coaster fiasco. If you haven't already, be sure to check that one out. It's linked in the description and until anyone contests it, I'd say it's a world record breaker. For today's challenge, the time lapse is running at 4000% speed and as before, I'm using a selection layer filled with red to incrementally chip away the segments between the tubes. These videos are more of a demo than instructional, so if you'd like to learn how to use a pen tool, I'll put up a proper tutorial video explaining the tool in depth. There's a link for that one in the description below. So that's a bit of context, the method behind the madness as it were. If you think these feats of creative masochism are interesting or amusing, please do throw us a like. We're a brand new channel and we'll take all the support we can get. So I'm going to let the smooth funky beats take you through the rest of the video. It's only a short one today, five minutes, so please do stay till the end. Enjoy.
So that's it from me. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you at the next video. See you then.